previously on the Höga Kusteleden. We had a very rainy day with quite a lot of road walking. However, the beautiful nature reserve of Balasude made us forget that we were even hiking in the rain. After leaving the lush green forest soaked because of the rain, we decided to treat ourselves with an incredible burger. Well deserved after a rainy day. In eight episodes we are taking you along this beautiful trail. We are hiking through deep forests and mountaintop viewpoints, passing beautiful lakes that you only see in Sweden and sleeping in beautiful places along the way. Nowhere else in Sweden can you hike at these heights so close to the sea. Welcome to the Höga Kustenleden. packed our stuff some parts are still really really wet because it rained crazy yesterday but we met a guy in a restaurant yesterday and he started the fire over here and we slept here with like three bunk beds for six people and it's a really really good cabin to stay and this cabin is located next to a harbor and when you pay 50 crowns it's about five euros per person to the harbor you can get a hot shower and a nice toilet and a kitchen and everything equipped with it so it was a good night i love this lonely road We're now at Skulleskogen National Park and we are at the north entrance. The plan for today is first to check out this camp area, but that's already in half an hour, so that's way too quick. And then we have a hike up, 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 up to a beautiful lake here. And there's a cabin and the campsite as well where you can build a fire. That is where we're gonna spend the night. And tomorrow is one of the highlights of this national park. Let me see if I pronounce it right. It's the Slotsdal Kravan. And I think Kravan means a crevasse. It's like a big mountain crevasse slash cave where you can walk through. We wanted to fly the drone there, but unfortunately it's not allowed to fly the drone in this national park. So no drone for us, but we're still really excited for this national park.
right now we arrived at the place we want to stay. We wanted to camp initially, but well, all the places where you could camp, it's completely wet because it rained crazy the last couple of days. Um, so we decided to stay in this cabin. It's a really cool cabin. Uh, there are four bunk beds here. Well, two bunk beds, four beds. And the view is amazing because we're right at the lake. The hike today was really beautiful though. We had a steep climb in the beginning. We passed a beautiful waterfall, a beautiful lake as well. And we absolutely saw nobody on the trail. We felt like we were the only ones there. So we spent the night here and tomorrow is one of the highlights of the High Coast Trail. The beautiful cave with the rock walls on the side. So we're really looking forward to that. Now we're gonna spend the night here, have some nice dinner and a warm sleep. So in almost every cabin in Sweden that are free cabins, there's a stove with a fireplace where you can make your own fire to heat up the cabin. And you can roast some marshmallows. Already bringing these for four days, <laughs> so it's time to eat them. On the next episode of the Höga Kustenleden. We really see why this area is called the high coast as we are gaining elevation. And we finally see Skulleskoge's most famous site, the deep crevasse known as Slotsdal Kervan. The rest of the day we are enjoying the beautiful weather and the incredible area of Skulleskoge National Park. And at the end of the day we even get a first glimpse of Skulleberget. <laughs> <laughs>